If you're dealing with knee issues, be sure to get them checked out by a medical professional before trying anything in this video. None of this is a guarantee for any medical condition, but it's instead meant to give you hope using science-based solutions that you can rebuild your knee structures and improve your knee ability. To begin, figure out what motions you can do with your knees and what motions you can't do with your knees, and then figure out why you can't do them. This is where a medical professional, like a physical therapist, might be able to assist. So this video, we're going to assume that all other joints of the body are healthy, and the knees are the only problem area. I'm going to be ordering the solutions in lieu of their ease of entry, what to do when you're most fragile and what to do once you begin to improve. For scenario one, if you can't flex your knee because of pain, but you can extend your knee, what is the solution? Floss band knee extension to get more blood flow, more circulation in the knee joint while improving the neurological connection of the muscles above the knee. The ones I have are ATG brand. I put a discount code in the description if you decide to go that route. Wrap one band below, one band above, moderately tight. Easiest is long sitting on a table. Harder is doing leg extensions from a pain-free level of knee flexion when seated. Hardest is doing straight leg raises while standing. In any of these progressions, we're shooting for a pain-free muscle burn, then attempt to get another 20 reps after that. Three sets, three times per day, accumulating nine sets a day, which would be 180 reps. Over 1,000 reps a week of high-intensity stimulus in the knee joint, building up those structures over time. Scenario number two, what if the reason you can't flex your knee is because of range of motion limitations, but you can still extend your knee? What's the solution? First things first, as a warm-up, make sure you do the solution from scenario number one. And then, to improve range of motion restrictions with knee flexion, same tool, different direction. Floss band knee flexion to help improve synovial fluid saturation decrease adhesion in the joint capsule, and improve local blood flow to the knee joint. Easiest is unloaded knee flexion with a towel or some sort of slider for added smoothness. Harder is loaded knee flexion with ATG split squat floss band pulses in the bottom quarter position. Flat foot is easier, higher elevation is easier, and the lower you go and the higher you elevate the heel, the greater stimulus to the joint over time. And on ATG programming, we then incrementally add external resistance with either dumbbells or barbells. Scenario number three, what's the solution if you can't flex your knees because they're weak, but you can't extend your knees? Let's consider a squat pattern. If your quads are weak, you're more likely to drop and lose control at the bottom of a squat, lose control of the knees as you come up, and shoot the hips back as you come up. Solution A is the indirect solution, which is getting some eccentric strength and the muscles responsible for controlling your descent in the squat with the reverse Nordic. Shins higher is easier because it means less distance you have to work to bring your glutes to your heels. Pause, control to the top. Shins lower is harder because it forces you to control more of the range of motion. Glutes to heels, control, pause, explode up. Three sets of five reps, one day a week at that level of flexion you can control. Solution B is more direct, putting tempo in your squats, taking momentum out of the equation, forcing you to rely simply on your muscular strength. Using hand assistance as needed, controlling down one, two, three, four, five, hold one, two, three, control up one, two, three. Three sets, aiming for 20 reps with this tempo is sure to build up those weaknesses within your quads. Scenario number four, what if the problem is you can't extend your knee due to pain, but you have the ability to flex your knee? What's the solution? Floss band knee flexion to get blood flow and improve circulation in the area while also improving the neurological connection to the muscles behind the knee. Easiest is long sitting, just doing heel slides like this. Harder is performing knee flexion from a pain-free level of knee extension in sitting. This is less range of motion. This would be larger range of motion. Perform at the range you can do without pain. Hardest is doing knee flexion from a pain-free level of knee extension in standing. This would be less range of motion, and this would be larger range of motion. Perform at the range you can tolerate pain-free. In any of these progressions, we're shooting for a pain-free muscle burn. Then you want to try to get another 20 reps after that. Three sets, three times per day, totals nine sets per day, 180 reps a day. That's more than 1,000 reps a week, giving your knee high intensity stimulus to the tissues behind the knee. Scenario number five, what if the problem is you can't extend your knee because of range of motion limitations, but you can still flex your knee. First, as a warm up, you're gonna do the solution from scenario four. And then if you can't extend the knee, then we need to look around the knee to determine what could be causing it to stay flexed. Namely, the lower hamstrings, the upper calf, and the inner groin. For hamstrings, your easiest option is going to be single leg banded hamstring stretch in supine. Keep a straight leg, raise up to your limit hamstring mobility, and you're just gonna breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, contracting your quad, feeling stretch on the back side of the knee. Three to five breaths, three sets. A progression from that is then a standing hamstring stretch with nerve floss. Straighten the knee, stand tall, contract the quad, feel the stretch. Get more stretched by leaning forward and floss the nerve behind by pumping the ankle up and down. Three sets of 20 reps. And the hardest is going to be the elephant walk. Hands on a stable surface, bend both knees, straighten one at a time. Hands high is harder than hands low. And goal, palming the ground. Hands, three sets, 20 reps each leg. For calves, the easiest is single leg calf stretch with straight leg. Pulling back on the band to get some stretch in the upper calf. Flexing your toes up, three to five breaths, three sets. For calf stretch, is gonna be a similar progression, but now we are putting load through a straight leg. Increase the 
stretch with the position of the back leg. Back leg in the back, less load on the front, less stretch. As the back leg goes forward, there's more load through the front leg and thus more stretch. Straight leg, flex the quad, lean forward, embrace the stretch. Three to five breaths each leg, three sets total. Then to progress further, we just turn that calf stretch into a calf raise. Same form cues as before, 12 total reps, pause at the top, control coming down, pause at the bottom, three sets total. On the ATG system, we even add load to this exercise. Then for the groin, we're gonna have single leg adductor stretch in supine. This is the easiest way to stretch the groin. Legs together, widen out, use the arm to assist in the stretch. Three to five breaths, three sets for this exercise. Then to increase the difficulty, do the same motion, but against the wall. Feet straight, let gravity pull your legs apart. Find a comfortable position of stretch and hold, squeezing the quads, gaining more knee extension for three to five breaths, three sets. Then the hardest would be mimicking that exact form of the wall pancake with the standing pancake. Legs spread out, knees extended, chest out, butt back, lower down, getting stretch in this inner groin using straight arms as an initial goal and eventually trying to get your head to touch the floor. Three to five breaths, three sets for this exercise. Scenario number six. What if the problem is you can't extend your knee due to weakness, but you can flex your knee? What's the solution? The warm up would be the solution from scenario number four and then strengthen the muscles responsible for extending the knee. Easiest is standing knee extension with floss bands because gravity is helping you get into that position. Harder is seated. Even harder when using horizontal resistance with the backwards treadmill. And scenario number three, the problem was a lack of ability to control the descending portion of a squat. In this scenario, this is the first step to providing strength in the quads as it is shortening with the foot on the ground. Make it harder by adding elevation and increase the tension by inclining the foot. Increasing elevation makes it harder as does adding weight. Increasing the activation and strength of the VMO muscle, the one closest to the kneecap and the most fast twitch of the quads. I hope all of this helps. If you are sent this video and need help determining how you can progress, please shoot me a DM on Instagram with any questions you may have. I'd love to assist. Here's your greater pursuit of truth.